Hey, what's up guys? Crypto is a wild roller coaster. One day it's down, another day it's up. It's volatile and volatility creates opportunity. In this video, we'll take a look how many more doublings in Bitcoin price we might have in this bull market. Then Robert Kiyosaki will explain why he thinks Bitcoin might reach $1.2 million in the next 5 years. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency have been going through the roof in the past year or so. To keep all your cryptocurrencies safe, you need to have an offline hardware wallet. Personally, I am using Ledger Nano S to keep all my cryptocurrencies safe and secure. I partnered with Ledger recently and last week we gave away one Ledger Nano S to one of you guys. This week we are doing another giveaway of Ledger Nano S. To enter the giveaway, go follow me on Twitter at Aimstone5 and Instagram Andre underscore NYC and I will choose another lucky winner on Instagram. In addition to that, Ledger just launched their cryptocurrency starter pack. It includes a $25 voucher to buy your first crypto and a crypto beginner guide. All you need to know to start your crypto journey. To keep all your cryptocurrencies safe and secure, check the link to ledger.com in the description box below. Let's start with the cryptocurrency market. Not that many changes from yesterday, but overall cryptocurrency is climbing back up after that recent and small dip. By the way, the entire cryptocurrency market is likely below $2 trillion. $2 trillion is the huge milestone for cryptocurrencies. Now, more legitimate financial institutions recognize crypto as the real asset class. As of the time of this recording, Bitcoin is slightly over $57,000. It's up by 1.5% on the day, but it seems like Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that is slightly down on the week. Everything else seems to be positive. Ethereum surpasses $2,000 once again. Hopefully, now that $2,000 will be a support line. ETH is also up by almost 6% on the week. Binance BNB, it's near its all-time high. It just surpassed $400. BNB, without a doubt, one of the best performance since 2017 bull market. Just to remind you guys, back then an all-time high for BNB was slightly over $20. And now it's over $400. That would be 20x from peak to peak, while Bitcoin made only 3x from peak to peak. And coins like XRP is still down by 70% from its 2017 all-time high. Polkadot and Cardano going toe to toe. Polkadot is just by $1 billion higher in market cap than Cardano. Litecoin falls into the basket of those cryptos that still cannot break 2017 all-time high and is down by 30% since the top of 2017 bull market. Here is an interesting chart. It represents Twitter survey about whether individuals and institutional investors allocate to Bitcoin versus gold for comparison. Blue color is institutional allocation and the orange one is individual. On the right side we have gold and on the left side we have Bitcoin. As we can see that institutions and individuals said that they allocate to gold and this trend started growing from April 2018 until May 2020. But since then, less institutions and individuals said yes to gold allocation. On the other hand side, we have institutional and individual allocation to Bitcoin has been going up since September 2017. But of course, since Bitcoin is the people's money, more individuals allocate to Bitcoin than institutions. However, I think it will change in the next few years. Two years ago, if you are the hedge fund, you would be crazy to own Bitcoin. Two years from now, if you are the hedge fund, you would be crazy not to own a Bitcoin. Now, let's take a look at this cool chart. Take the price very seriously during each post Bitcoin having. How long does it take for Bitcoin to double? Then double again, then again, and again. Each of those curves represent Bitcoin doubling. After this first Bitcoin having it took 77 days for BTC to double in price. The second doubling took 35 days. And the third doubling was very fast one, it took only 15 days for Bitcoin to double. The fourth doubling however was the longest one. This is when Bitcoin was going through some consolidation. It took 217 days for BTC to double in price. Yet the fifth one was the fastest one, it took only 12 days for BTC to double in price once again. So, after the first Bitcoin having, we have 5 doublings. An average number of days for BTC to double in the past Bitcoin having bull market is 71 days. Now, let's take a look what happened after the second Bitcoin having. 
After the second Bitcoin Hand bull market, first doubling was the longest one, it took 292 days. Second doubling was the quickest one, it took only 39 days. The third doubling took 129 days and the fourth doubling took 50 days. So in that bull market we had 4 doublings. And an average number of days for BTC to double in that bull market was 129 days. Now let's take a look what is going on in this most recent Bitcoin bull market post third Bitcoin halving. The third Bitcoin halving took place on May 11, 2020. and that time Bitcoin was trading slightly under $9,000. First Bitcoin doubling was quite long one. I remember Bitcoin was consolidating sideways the entire summer and then in the third quarter of 2020 BTC started waking up. It took 190 days for the first doubling, where Bitcoin went from $9,000 to $18,000. And the second doubling was very fast one, where Bitcoin went from $18,000 to $36,000. And the third doubling that is yet to come will put BTC over 70000 bucks. So far, we already passed 82 days into the next doubling. After the first Bitcoin halving bull market, BTC doubled 5 times. After the second Bitcoin halving bull market, BTC doubled 4 times. If Bitcoin will double 4 times this time, it will put price over $140,000. However, if it will double 5 times, it will put a Bitcoin price at around $300,000. We will see what will happen in foreseeable future. Now, let's take a look at this video where aka Rich Dad Poor Dad Robert Kiyosaki explains why he's loading up on Bitcoin and why he believes Bitcoin will be at $1.2 million in 5 years from today. Let's take a look. Well, Robert, you're a tad unusual in that you're a staunch advocate for precious metals, gold and silver, as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, although many are coming around to holding both, in December, you called that Bitcoin will hit 50K in early 2021, and you were correct. You even tweeted it. Let's read that tweet. Glad I bought Bitcoin. Next stop, 50K. Wall of institutional money coming 2021. Buy below 20K. If you missed Bitcoin, buy silver. Silver set to move due to AOC's Green New Deal. America in trouble, future bright for gold, silver, Bitcoin and entrepreneurs. All right, let's break down that advice there, Robert. You said buy below 20K if you missed it by silver. OK, so now that Bitcoin has hit a record high of over 61K and is now in the high 50K range, is it too late to get into Bitcoin? Where do you see it going? That's a very good question because it's always the entry point. Like I bought Bitcoin at 9,000 and I thought I was being fleeced. But the reason I bought it at nine was because uh, COVID shut down the world economy. So I thought it was pretty, when they started printing, so I bought Bitcoin at nine. I wish I'd bought it at 10 cents, like a lot of people did. But now I look like a genius because today it's around 55,000. This is uh, what, April, 2021. And I think it's gonna go to 1.2 million in five more years. You're projecting Bitcoin to be worth over a million dollars in about five years time. Is that what you said? Yes. And why? Why do you think that? And and why do you not think that the government may intervene in one form or another? Well, they'll. I think they'll try. But it's the problem is too big, Michelle. You know, our pensions are going bust. Baby boomers have no money. They shut down the economy. They're gonna print, Biden's gonna print another 1.9 trillion. So it has never worked. It's Gresham's law. Bad money drives out good money. So when a guy like me gets my hand on a Bitcoin, I'll never spend it. And when I have gold and silver, I've only spent a little bit of my gold. I've never sold it. You know, I'd rather save it. So when I need money, because I'm a real estate guy like Trump, I borrow money. So when interest rates drop really, really low, like they are now under 4%, I'll borrow millions of dollars because it's fake money. And I'll spend fake money, but I save gold, silver, and today some Bitcoin. Bitcoin is untested yet. Mm -hmm. But that's why I was happy to get some at 9,000. And I may buy some again today or tomorrow 
just because I'm more bullish on it. But I'm not bullish on gold, silver, or Bitcoin. I'm just bearish on Biden and his communist gang. That's what I'm. That's what I don't like. You're seeing crypto, gold, and silver really then as a way to safeguard against dollar devaluation. Yeah, I don't trust the academic elite. That's called that's called you know Bernanke and Yellen, and uh, now we have Powell. These guys are communists. They print money. They're central bankers. I, I really don't like how, how they screw everybody. It makes me rich because you know all the all the CEOs take all this fake money and they buy, drop you know, drive up the stock price. But the working class guy is getting screwed. You know the person working for money, trying to pay the rent, trying to this. They can't afford to buy a house. They don't buy stocks. They're just surviving day to day, and the price of food keeps going up and all this. That's what happens when you print money. That's what brought Hitler to power. You know, after 1918, when they started the Weimar Republic, started printing all this fake money. You saw it in Zimbabwe. It's happening in Venezuela, and they screw the poor. It makes me sad. It, it, why don't we? You know, I've always said, why don't we have financial education in school? Just teach them Gresham's law. Bad money drives out good money. Yet our school teachers, those idiots, teach kids to save money. You got to be crazy. Just tell kids to save silver. They'd be a lot better off. <laughs> well, that certainly has worked uh, for you, Robert. So you say gold, silver, Bitcoin are really all ways to protect against the dollar devaluation. But Bitcoin is not the only crypto that you like. You also like Ethereum. Why do you like Ethereum? Do you see institutional investors getting into Ethereum as well as you correctly called that they would be getting into Bitcoin? No, it's um, Michelle. I'm an old guy, you know. <laughs> Trump and I are the same age, and I hang out with young guys, and I ask them questions about Bitcoin and Ethereum. And there's so many, there's so many different crypt. The reason I say Bitcoin is untested because it is untested. It's only been around since about 2009 or something. So that's why I'm very cautious with it. The same as all the other altcoins. And I think altcoins are here to stay, but I don't know which one will survive. Remember, I don't know if you're too young. When Amazon came out, so did uh, pets.com. And people were buying pets.com and pets.com disappeared. And Amazon became the behemoth of the world. So I didn't know anything about .com and I don't know anything about crypto. So I talked to the young guys who are in it every single day and they kind of filled me up. So they told me to buy uh, I interviewed this guy, Robert Breedlove. He's a, he's a CPA plus a finance guy from Wall Street and all this. And he is probably the most knowledgeable on Bitcoin that, in my personal experience. And he is the one who's saying it's 1.2 million. So of all the people, I trust him. Then I asked him, I said, what happens if somebody, you know, like let's say you and I start our own uh, coffee Bitcoin. He says, the beauty of Bitcoin is it adapts. So if this coffee Bitcoin starts kicking Bitcoin's butt, the Bitcoin will adapt. It's very similar to Amazon. Amazon adapted. It could morph. It could change as new, new uh, dot coms came online. It could absorb them. So that's why social media is so strong today. Once they got a foothold, they could, they could take over any competitor they had. So they... <clears throat> the cryptocurrency, everybody's into cryptocurrency. Every young guy is trying to start their own Bitcoin now. But what this guy, Robert Breedliff, was telling me, Bitcoin will eat them alive. So I don't know if that's true or not, but being an old guy, I got to trust the young guys. That's all I'm saying. Kiyosaki bought Bitcoin at $9,000 and he thought he was getting ripped off. Honestly, guys, when I paid $10,000 for BTC, I did not think that way. As he said, he might be buying Bitcoin in this current range. Keisaki also thinks that Bitcoin might reach $1.2 million in the next 5 years. I think that is very realistic. That is going to be another bull market post-2024 Bitcoin having. If we can have another 4 to 5 doubling in that bull market, BTC might as well surpass $1 million easily. Let me know what you guys think. Can Bitcoin reach $1.2 million in the next 5 years? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.